Right, it is the end of Bronx week. Always a fun time of the year. Unfortunately, this year and last year, things done a little bit differently, but it did wrap up today after a week of activities. There are still activities this year. Obviously, though, not the same as years past. Social distancing requirements are in full effect. News 12's Katie Vasquez telling us how Bronxite celebrated this year at Orchard Beach. Borough Bro President Ruben Diaz Jr. warmed up the crowd at Orchard Beach for the driving concert. Waiting for Ja Rule to begin. Betsy Madero was the first concert. car in line ready for the show. It's, um, it's usually at the bandstand, which is fine, but I think because of the COVID and the restrictions, they've set this up here with all the cars and it's very well organized, I must say. People had to stay in their car or wear a mask if they walked around. I'm excited for the concert. It's a little awkward having to stay in the car, but what can we do? Organizers admit that this year's events were not well attended, but even if people didn't come out, they joined virtually. You know, we, we've been going Facebook Live and Instagram Live, so we at least have the audience. At least people are seeing that we're celebrating, and they're celebrating with us. And it's a wonderful thing. This year, Woodlawn Cemetery taking home the Bronx Tourism Award. It might seem unusual that people are visiting a cemetery, but the CEO says it offers a unique experience. I think it's kind of a perfect blend between uh, monumentation as well as uh, natural beauty. This is the 50th anniversary of Bronx Week. Even though it wasn't the same as previous years, people are looking forward to next year's festivities. In Orchard Beach, Katie Vasquez, News 12.